Yo, what's happening guys? Welcome to your 29th Node.js tutorial and in this video we're going to talk about query strings. Alright then, so what is a query string exactly? Well, it's just additional data added onto a HTTP request in the form of name value pairs. And we often see this with pagination of blogs of some kind where we say we want to see all the blog posts, for example, from the news category. So this is the URL here, forward slash blog forward slash news and then we've got this query string right here which starts with the question mark and we're saying that the page is equal to two so the second page of news items in the blog right so this name value pair page equals two is what is attached to this get request so the way we construct a query string is just by tacking on a question mark after the initial URL and then adding our name value pair separated by ampersands if there's more than one of them. So we could make a request like this, mysite.com forward slash contact. Then the start of the query string has the question mark. Then we've got our name value pairs, person equals Ryu. Then we add another name value pair by first saying ampersand, so and. Uh, the department or dept equals marketing and we can do as many of those attached to each other as we want by just adding on these ampersands after each one but we always begin it with a question mark like that okay so say we make a request like that and we pass on this additional information um, which we want to use and what we need to do is pass that request and pull out this data so that we can use it within our application code so let's look at an example Alright then, so let's imagine that when we go to the contact URL that we've set up a route for in previous tutorials, we could send along some extra data in the form of a query string, such as the person we want to contact or the department we want to contact, right? So say for example, we do something like this. I'm just going to come to a browser. So forward slash contact, and then we create a query string where we're saying uh, department equals marketing and person equals Joe. So we're saying here, okay, we're sending along this extra information. We want to contact the marketing department and Joe, okay? So how do we handle that? Well, in um, Node.js, when we use Express, the request object does all of this passing for us. So it makes it really simple to access this data. So all we have to do is use the query property on this request object. So for example, what I could do right here, oops, not on this one, on contact, I could say console.log and then request.query, okay? So this is an inbuilt property when we use Express that we can access, and it's gonna access what data is on the query string. So if I save this now, and I'm gonna run it by saying nodemon app.js, now, if I go to this right here and press enter, so I'm passing along this query string where depth equals marketing and person equals Joe. So if I click enter now, then we're gonna see right here, this object is logged down here to the console. So department is marketing and person is Joe. So Express has done all that for us. It's passed this data and it's given us access to it on this query property of the request object. So it's really easy for us now to access this query string data. So say we wanna do something else with this data, we wanna pass it into the view. Well, we already know from previous tutorials that we can pass data to the view by just adding in an object here in the render method. So I could pass through this query data right here in the render method. So let's cut that from here, and in fact, let's just delete that altogether and pass it through as an object right here. So I'll say the query string, that's gonna be the name of my property in this object, and I'm gonna paste that in, and it's gonna be equal to uh, request.query, okay? So we're passing in any data that we add into the query string through now to the contact view. Okay, so let's go to the contact view, and um, you're gonna notice down here, I've added in a form. I'm going to go through that in a second, but to begin with, let's just output that query data in this view. So let's come down here, add a p tag, and we know how to output data using EJS templates. We covered that in a previous tutorial. It's the open angle bracket percentage equals, and then just whatever the name of the object is or value is that we want to output. Now, we sent along this object right here, 
and the property name is query string. So now I'm just going to output that query string object, yeah, and dot dept because that's the department value on this query string. Remember when we output this to the console right here, we had two properties, the department and the person. So I'm going to output the department property. Okay, makes sense. So let's close that off right now. Save it. I'm going to restart the server over here just by saying RS and then go to a browser and refresh this. And now you can see we've output this marketing value right here because we accessed the department property on the query string object right there, the, the property there. Okay, and we could do it with the other one, person, if we wanted to. I'll just type in there, person. Save it, and I'm going to come and restart the server, RS, and hit refresh over here. And this time the person is output, which is Joe. All right, so let us now take a look at this form, a more useful kind of way to use these query strings. So I've deleted that initial P tag I just popped in right there and I'm gonna uncomment this form and this is just a really simple form. You can see it's got an ID of contact form. Then we've got a label for each input type. So the for is equal to who and that matches up to the who input type of text, right? So that's who we wanna contact. And uh, then we've got a label for the department, which department, and this is the input for it. Then we've got a label for the email, your email, and then an input for it as well. And then finally the submit button. We're not gonna look at submitting this form in this tutorial, just kind of pre-populating this form with the data we can get from the query string, okay? So let's save this and say for example, we go to this URL with this query string right here. So we're passing along the department we wanna contact and the person we wanna contact, right? So say we go there. Let's just restart the server to catch those changes and refresh. Okay, so we've got this form. Now, if we add in this query string right here with whatever information for the department and the person, I want it to pre-populate these form fields so that the user doesn't have to do it, okay? So, how can I do that? Well, I can access that data from the query string in this template right here. So, all I need to do is come to the input fields right here and then set a value equal to that data. I remember it's on the query string object, but before we do that, we need to use our EJS tags, which is an open angle bracket, percentage equals, then it's the QS object, which we pass through, dot, and this first one is who, the name of who we wanna contact, so that is person. So let's close off those EJS tags as well, and do the same thing down here, and set this to value instead of veil. Okay, so let's do the same thing here. And this time, value is DEPT, department. So let's save that, restart the server, and come to a browser. And this time when we refresh, it's gonna grab that data and pre-populate the form for us because we set this data equal to the value of these form fields, right? Pretty cool. So now, if we change this data, I'm gonna change this to Ryu. I'm gonna change the department to um, IT, like so. Press enter, this time we get Ryu IT. So it's pre-populating all those form fields for us. And just imagine we had, say, a team page on our website where it's the team of all the people in the company. And they might have, say, um, an icon of each person, say 10 people, and when you click on that icon, it goes to the contact us page and it pre-populates these fields for us based on who we've clicked because we pass through a query string as well. Pretty cool, right? So that is query strings and how we access the data from them. Um, in the next tutorial, we're gonna be looking at post data, so submitting this form and how we can handle that in Node.js. But for now, if you've got any questions, feel free to ask those down below. Otherwise guys, don't forget to share, subscribe and like, and I'm gonna see you in the very next tutorial.